Hi, my name's Phil and I like talking about politics and in this video I'm going to do a, a second video on policies, meaning that I'll have spent an entire day not talking about the Tory psychodrama, although there will probably be some of that tomorrow. But one of the most serious problems I think that a new Labour government is going to need to tackle is housing. We're in desperate need of more housing, affordable housing, social housing. The lack of housing is not only making life unnecessarily difficult for people in this country, it's providing ready excuses for the far right, in particular along xenophobic anti-immigration lines. If we had adequate housing, vast majority of their arguments, which are spurious anyway, just struggle to cut through to enough people to sustain them politically. In fact, I don't think I'm exaggerating at all when I say that if you identify any of the myriad problems facing the UK right now, better housing would at least alleviate all of them. Housing is also the main reason the Tories find themselves facing electoral oblivion. They strangled off their supply of new voters by making it too difficult for people to get onto the housing ladder. Now, for a party who depend on homeowners, that seemed insane. So why did they, why did they cut the production of new and particularly affordable housing? Because they were trapped. Going right back to 2010, George Osborne knew that the Tories needed people to be able to get onto the housing ladder in order to start their journey on the path to becoming more conservative in middle age. But he also knew that housing developments pissed off existing homeowners. And the existing homeowners were his voters for the next election. But new housing developments, that creates a supply of voters much later on. So the Tories prioritised the short term and now they're in a mess. But the big question is, will Labour find the same messy situation? In a sense, yes, and in a sense, no. Labour have certain advantages over the Conservatives in this regard. First of all, they're not as beholden to the NIMBYists as the Conservatives. Uh, those people do not form a core part of their necessary support. In fact, I mean, this, this discussion has been triggered essentially by a piece in The Times last week where they pointed out that a lot of Labour's target seats are places where the key voters are very pro-development. They want their new houses. So housing's not just something that's a core part of Labour's overall strategy for getting the country back on its feet. It's also something which is supported by their very important voters. It's always nice when that happens. But Labour still face difficulties. A prominent commentator on housing issues has made the point, again, that our current planning system is effectively designed to create friction in housing developments. It's designed basically to block them. He is of the view that you can't just have the government put its shoulder behind new developments while still using the current planning system. And this forms the crux of the issue for Labour. Right, people often ask me, so what might change with Labour in power, you know, with my commentary specifically? Because right now I spend my days basically moaning about the government, don't I? Their short-sighted policies, their destructive policies, their downright crazy policies, and in recent years, their dysfunctional nature. This is not likely to be the case with Labour in government. I certainly hope not, anyway. It has been many years, you know, since I've been net positive about the government. And I wasn't discussing things on the internet, that was just boring people in the staff room. But if there is one massive policy area I worry about, it's housing. It's so important, but also urgent, because housing is something Labour need to get right straight away. Because you won't see the benefits for years. And we need to see the benefits before the public forgets how bad the Tories were. Starmer has talked about ramming housing plans through the NIMBYs. Sure, OK. But does he have the right plan to actually do this? It's easier for Labour because NIMBYs are less politically important to them. But the law is still the law. Do Labour think they can achieve their aims with tinkering to the planning system or do they realise it needs complete reform? And if they realise it needs complete reform, can they prioritise these reforms urgently enough to get it moving in time? And will they reform them in the right way? Those are, these are big ifs. You know, ironically, if we do crush the Tories, we may actually find that Labour picks up a load of extra seats in NIMBY areas like Essex, for example. You know, they will be in the minority, these Labour MPs, but it might present an early source of uh, friction or disunity. Would that cause Labour to adopt an overly cautious approach, which ultimately fails? Because one thing to remember about politics is that the policies are only half the story. 
Just because a government has a policy doesn't mean they will implement it. And I don't mean because they may be lying. That generally just applies to the Conservatives. It may be that they underestimated what was needed to make it happen. One thing that regularly emerges from any frank discussion about housing development is there's no way to do anything significant in a way which keeps everyone happy. It's the classic case of you can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. So are Labour prepared to break those eggs? I mean, they need to. The benefits are too important to pussyfoot around. Affordable housing makes it easier for people to move where the jobs are. It also means people will feel better off. Like both Labour and the Conservatives understand that when they're in government, they need people to feel better off. If they want to give themselves a real good shout of, of staying in power, come the election, they need to say to people, do you feel better off? And they need the people to say, yes, we do. But the only way the Tories know how to do that is with tax cuts. That's why you always get tax cuts in election year, just like this year. But that doesn't work. Cutting taxes means cutting investment, which just stores up a lower standard of living for the future. Labour at least understand that you can't sacrifice the investment. But they still need people to feel better off. Having incomes rise above inflation, that's a good way to do that. But given the proportion of income spent on housing costs these days, some people are spending half or like two thirds of their income on housing. Surely the most efficient way to raise people's living standards is by reducing housing costs. The single greatest cost people tend to have. So many problems are either solved or at least eased with more houses being built. And I absolutely believe that Labour understand that. And I don't just mean because I have this faith in Labour, right? The sentiment feeds through so much of their policy announcements and speeches. You look on the website. There's even reference to needing good quality housing in their paper on the NHS, for goodness sake. It's everywhere. On every policy area, in each of their five missions, they talk about the need for better housing. They 100% want to go full steam ahead with this. They understand the, the benefits to other policy areas of good housing. But understanding it and wanting to do it, will they be able to do it? Labour say they're going to build a million and a half new homes in the first five years. That's a 50% increase on now, and it should be safe to assume a much greater increase on specifically affordable housing. They also have a policy of making sure first-time buyers have first dibs on new builds. So they're certainly committed to dealing with housing issues, but it's, it's like the Olympics this year, isn't it? Thousands and thousands of athletes will descend on Paris and they'll have trained for this summer for years. And some of them will achieve what they set out to achieve. We know they're not all going to aim to win, but they'll, they'll have an aim in mind. They'll have an ambition. And some of them will achieve it because they'll have planned for it properly and their plan will have worked. And some won't. Some will be disappointed. Their plans may have been insufficient or someone else's plan may have been better. And because Labour's plans involve giving more control to local authorities, it's not enough for them to simply change the system and go, okay, we've now changed the system, we can now use this better. They need to make sure that those regional and local decision makers understand the new systems as well. It's a huge undertaking. And just because I believe Labour is serious about it doesn't mean they'll succeed. So I think this is likely to be one of the policy areas I pay close attention to after the election. You know, everything Labour are aiming to do is, of course, difficult given the economic situation. But I just see more friction involved in pushing these housing policies. You know, I'm, I'm satisfied with the conclusion of numerous experts that a half-hearted attempt will not do the job. Labour need a clear plan, which they prioritise urgently. Will they do that? They also need to make sure local authorities understand the plan. Now, that means cross-party cooperation of a like we haven't seen in a long time, because some of those local authorities are going to be Conservative local authorities or Lib Dem or Green. So it's going to be tough and it needs absolute commitment to the cause. But there we are. Those are my thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe for further content and click the like button. You can also sign up for memberships if you'd like to support the channel further. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later.